should say, hi Amanda. <laughs> you brought me a semi-tame wild birdie. Uh, yes, <laughs> Birding I Birding captivity for a little while. Yes. Right, tell me the story with this one, please. Okay, he came in at the start yep. of April. Yep. With clenched feet. Like that? Yes. You can now open them. Yes, but they were completely shut. Right. I, um, and I decided in the end that it was encephalitis just by yep. eliminating the other possibilities. Yep. So he, he's had a vitamin B injection early? It was a multivitamin. Yep, fine, good. Yes, just to rule that one out. Right. And it definitely wasn't concussion. Right. Um, and he also was on Batril for a little while. Yes, yep. Uh, he ha seems to have a lung problem. Yes. He breathes very fast. Right, okay. And I'll have a listen to his chest. Yeah, the Batril didn't help that. Right. He was also put on doxycycline for yes. a fortnight. Yep. That helped a little. Right. Um, his feet have obviously come good. He squatted for about a month, six weeks. Right. And now he does stand up, but he still goes back to squatting. Right. He can fly, but he finds it a huge effort. Right, okay. So, because he gets shorter breath, or he yeah. just... Yeah. Right, okay. Right, we'll have a look at that. Now, did he, right from the beginning, have all these dark flecks in his tail? Yes. Right, so he's had those as well. So he's got the not only the fault lines down here and here and here, but under here he's got feather with lots and lots of flecks. Yeah. Where it where it's where it should be green next yep. to the here, and on the other side of his tail here, he's also got lots of flecks of um, um, black flecks in his feathers there. Yeah. And then he also has some in his. He has quietly, quietly, quietly. I know, gentle, gentle baby, gentle, calm, calm. He also has um, um, a lot of dark flecking mm. um, in his flight feathers where they should be should be green as well so I just point that out to you so there was yeah. a problem back there at the time that those feathers were being developed yeah it's a little bit different from the usual pattern of beacon feather mm. just quietly just quietly just quietly yes I'm yeah. deeply hoping he doesn't have beacon feather yeah, well it's not at the stage <laughs> where it's not at the stage where I can recognize it yeah. as beacon feather and I haven't had a look at the surface texture of his beak yet, so we'll do that next and just see if he's got any of the corrugations of a beak and feather in there. Now his beak is pretty, very, very tiny corrugations in here, but they're very, very tiny. Not enough for me to uh, recognise it as beak and feather without doing tests, all right? But I can see some tiny stress uh, ridges in there yeah. uh, along the side just there. Yeah. And I won't rule it out, but I won't rule it in either, yeah. right? Because I know what the consequences of that are in the system. He came in with calcium deficiency too. Right. Uh, right. And okay. he obviously was thin and he lost weight right. when he came in. And um, I lined the cage and everything, but of course he got massive feather damage anyway. Yeah, okay. Um, so, right. they'll both so he's tending to sit back on himself like that rather yeah. than stand up straight. Yeah, he likes with he, with the bum. He, so he's got his backside on the ground. That's quite the yeah. Alright, we'll just get the range and see how he walks around on that. Have you seen Rue? Hmm? at the climbing stage, so that's good. Right, okay, well the more, um, as far as his legs go, the more of this sort of exercise that you give him, yep. with branches like this, um, um, and maybe a couple of swinging ones, um, mm -hmm. you know, suspended by two wires, yep. so it swings and so forth a bit, and rocks around a bit, mm -hmm. uh, and tilts around, because that's what happens in nature up in those trees when the wind blows. Yeah. Right? So. Um, yeah, he. I have been doing that. I was told to put in lots and different sizes. And yeah, different diameters. So, so that part is good. Yeah. Okay. Now, regarding this, the the sit of it and his breathing. You said his breathing was helped 
after two weeks on Citibit? A little. A little. Yeah. Okay. Um, He's still having a lot of breathing So why problems. was the Citibet stopped at the end of two weeks? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's just that if he did have chlamydia, mm. and that would be one of the most common causes of him having laboured breathing, yep. um, Citibet needs to be given for at least three weeks okay. and usually seven weeks. And you usually don't get your improvement until about day 10 or day 14 um, from the time of start. Okay. Right? So I suspect, um, this is just my, my gut feeling, yep. right? That that was stopped prematurely. Okay. Um, well, we can start again. That's quite big. He'll be less than thrilled. Right. Okay, so that's the, um, as far as his legs go, if you can have him climbing around doing lots of physiotherapy like this, yep. he's giving himself his own physiotherapy. Okay. Right? And I don't think he's at the stage where you need to be doing the manual physiotherapy all cool. the time. Okay. So I'd like to have a listen to his chest and just see if I pick up any abnormal lung sounds. That's quite you, mate. Yeah. Okay. 